Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a lip gloss slash lip balm collection. They're all in here as you can see. They are in, what I have them stored in is a little purse I used to have when I was younger. So I just stored them all in and then put them on display. So I have a lot, so let's get started. My first one I wanted to talk about because people have been saying saying that this doesn't work and stuff. I used to have really chapped and sore lips. And as soon as I got this, I applied it maybe like a few times a day. And my lips turned out to be baby smooth. It was so nice. And if you're wondering, I just got the original, which is clear. And it doesn't show anything on your lips. It's really nice and thick. So it doesn't... It really does moisturize your lips, which is nice. So that's my first one. And I'm gonna do all my tinted ones, you know. So I have this e.l.f. lip tint. I don't know if I can see it. So, oh no, you can't see it. So it's this e.l.f. lip tint, and it's just, if you don't put on a lot, you can't notice it. It's just orange, basically. An orange which is nice so if I don't put on a lot so I just do a little bit here and then it is you can't notice it so I also have this other elf one my friend got me a little set which has three of them in here I can't find it no well if I do I'll show you so I got these I had a three I have a bright red one this maroon color one, which I find really, really pretty. And it, if you just dab it off your lips, it's a really nice color. And then a nude color, I guess you could say. This one, you could just wipe on and it's not too flashy or anything for a, um, a little girl or whatever. So, and it's a lip balm, so it's not really a lip tint, but it's super pigmented, which is nice. I use them for special occasions. Then, I got this crayon lip tint. It is, let's see where it is. Um, I don't know the color, but it's a coral. Oh, I can't get it. Okay, there. It's a coral, and all you have to do is twist the bottom to get it up, and that's all what it is. I don't know if it'll show. That's all it is. It's a really, really nice. My mom really likes this color on me, and plus it's not too bright or anything. Then my, I think that's it. Oh, so I made this one. It was kind of like a homemade one, but not really. You just grab a little container or whatever, you put a little bit of Vaseline or petroleum jelly, either one will work. Grab a little bit of food coloring, which is safe. I think all food coloring is safe, but I just grabbed a little bit of red, I think, food coloring. And it turned out this beautiful light pink. If you put on a lot, it will just tint your lips. It's not too bright or anything, which is really nice. I don't use this one that often. I just use it sometimes. Then my tubes, which I'm going to do next, is I have this Carmex. All it is is a clear, thick, uh, little lip balm, I guess you could say. That's all it is. That's all it is. Oh no, it's not going back in. That's all it is. So, it's really nice. I don't... I don't really like the scent. I don't know what it is. I just don't. But it does moisturize your lips. So, I'll just put it on my hand. It does moisturize it. It's just like a little rounded tip that you can just rub on your lips. And that's it. You don't need much. It's a really nice little thing. So, I... For Christmas? No. For Easter, what my brother got me... And I think he got them at Ardennes. Ardennes? I don't know how you pronounce it. These two lip glosses that are from Ardennes, which I just said. They're a little bit sticky, but they are moisturizing. So I got a pink one. It's like a new pink kind of. 
And then I got this multicolored one. I really like it. I haven't started using this one. It, I haven't used it yet. But it looks so pretty. It goes pink, yellow, green, teal, white. So it's really pretty. My next one is... So I'll do my homemade one. So I have four. So in these four... Uh, three are cream, but they're homemade, so you could use them on your lips, and then one is actually a lip balm. So, this one's a lip balm. Sorry for the little hole. I've been using it a lot, as you can tell. It smells like mint. It smells amazing. And it does get minty on your lips, which is really nice, because it makes them feel, like, moisturized and refreshed. And it's just in these little tin containers. I think you can find them in the dollar store, I'm not sure. And then here are the three homemade creams that you could use on your lips. So what I'm going to do is this one we made a big jar and I just refilled it in a small one because I used it a lot. So this one is quite like liquidy, like greasy, but it's so moisturizing and it smells like lemons to me. It smells really good. So, so hair doesn't get in it. That's the one. And then the other one is this green one. I don't know what it, what we put. But it's really, really nice. You could use it. It's minty too. Which, I don't mind. I like minty lip, bo lip balms slash lip glosses because I feel like it hydrates my lips. This one's a cream, but I do use it for my lips. It's just like a little piece. We just molded in a little container. So we just did that. So, oh. so my next one I'm going to do is these three because they're a duo. Oh, and this oh the almost fell. So this one is the same one as a pink one. So these three go together. They are a little set we got on Christmas. Oops. We got on Christmas. So it came in a little candy cane. It's from Hard Candy, which me and my mom really, really like Hard Candy because it's really nice products. We have a coral, a pink to white, and a just a pink. I've used the coral one. Oops. I've used the coral one a lot, and I have not used these ones yet. So I want to save those ones because I really like them. This one's really nice. Oops, I'm just putting them on the side, guys. Oh, and here's another one that my brother bought me from Ardeen's. I don't think they have those anymore. Here is a clear lip gloss with a two. It's still a little bit thick and sticky, but it's so nice. You can't even see it. It's just a clear. If you want to buy a lip gloss or a lip balm, for like a little little girl and they want like something shiny I recommend buying a clear lip gloss because it's really nice and I like clear lip glosses here is a lip smacker which is Olaf it's it is um chocolate truffle it's so big for this amount but it's really nice and it does smell like chocolate a little bit it also smells like mint it smells really nice. I do use it. Oops. But when you use it, you want to make sure when you put it back, it's straight. Or it won't go in properly. So, what next one should I do? Okay, I'll do this one. So, I had this little panda one. It's just black, white with a pink heart cheeks and a pink tongue. It's just all pink and it smells like strawberries. It's really nice. I don't use it because, like, I do use it, but not that often because I have a whole bunch more. And then I got this little fox. And I have one more. Oh, right here. So this one and this one are all pink. So. They just go all together, I feel like. So here's a pink one. Here's a fox macaroon, which is pink. 
and this one is pink. I've used this one a lot. I do have a pucker pop, but I forgot it. It is a snow glitter one with a little snowflake clip on it. So that's it. So those are those ones. Okay, so this one's just an empty one. So this one is just a homemade one. We you can buy the twos off the of line. We have a whole bunch of these. We make our homemade ones. And all we do is grab beeswax, coconut oil, we melt it, and then we have essential oils that you can scent with. So we just made a clear one, and it's, it's shiny, but also matte at the same time. It smells like lemons, because we put lemon in here. And it's just a twist up one. So I think these are the ones. So, I think I have one more. Yes, I do. So, all three of these go together. They're the same, but we dyed this one pink with a little bit of lipstick. And then these two we kept clear. So, in this little container, I had a white one, which is clear. It's greasy. I would recommend to put this on top of, like, um, what I do is I do this sometimes. And then I put it over a lip tint. Here is another one. And they do smell like mint, which is nice. And then this one I do use. It's glittery. And it's like a little bit liquidy in some places. We added a lot of coconut oil. Not enough beeswax, I would say. But they are really nice. And then I'm going to do another set. I have my mom got me these. Where is it? Oh no, did I lose it? It's, I know it's in here. Where is it? Okay, so my mom got me these three. She surprised me actually. So I got a just like a coral one, coral color. And they're all clear. So this one's a coral one. And I don't use them because I'm scared of running out because I really love these. And then I have a white and baby pink one. And these are glittery ones. So out of this whole set, this one's not. These two are glittery. I have a white and baby pink. They are really pretty. And you can't, oh, I guess you could. Can't see it. But I have those. They're all the same, just different colors. And those ones are moisturizing. I would recommend getting them. And then with this one, it's another hard candy one. I have a few. This one is a tinted lip gloss, like really tinted. On me, it's a quite dark, but in I always use this. Not always, like I use it for special occasions because it's really silky, smooth. And I really enjoy that one. Oh, so here's another one. It is Honey Stick. I don't know if you guys know that. But it's just a dark brown, I guess you could say. It does not leave a tint at all. Well, it does a little bit. But it's mostly clear, which is nice. Because I'm not really like a person that would wear like always like um a uh what are they, is it called a tinted lip balm oh no my purse keeps falling so i also have this other one from hard candy it's a little a screen cone well not cone a popsicle you just unscrew this part and then there's your little stick it's so cute I try not to use this one a lot because it's so nice and I don't know where you can get them from. I think maybe Walmart you can get a lot of hard candy stuff. Oh, so I think this is the last of my hard candy stuff or oh, these two. I think a lot of people have them. They're just like different colors. This one's darker. This one's lighter. So this one is, oh, if I can get this open. Okay, I can. 
So it's really nice. I I always do this. I wipe off the brush completely and there's still excess, so I just use that. So I can keep it way longer. That's another little hack, I guess you could say. This one's 701 Swan Lake. So if you want this, it's Swan Lake. This one is, I think, Ulala. La. It's 1164. Yes, and it's in Ulala. La, which I really like these because they're really moisturizing. And they're, to me, they're a little bit minty. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. So, oh, wait. This is another hard candy. It is a lip shape. I don't know. Okay, this is a lip shape. It is in vanilla. It is a clear lip gloss with glitter. I don't know if you guys can see. It is a clear lip gloss with glitter, and I really enjoy it. And the smell, you can definitely smell it. My mom also has a cherry one, so she has vanilla and cherry. I wanted the vanilla. She had two, so she gave me one. Oh, here... Ooh, my purse keeps falling. Okay, I'm just gonna lay it down sideways. So, for this one, I have another panda one with a little bow. All I do is, this one's clear. It has a yellow tint, I don't know why. Like, it was like that when it came. It is clear with glitter. I would say like holographic glitter, I guess you could say. It's like really pretty. I don't use this one often because I'm not really a person that puts glitter on their lips. If you are, this would be perfect for you. And it's a little macaroon. It's so cute. So, I have a few more. Bear with me, please. This is another one my brother got me for Easter. He really spoiled me for Easter. I got He got me, the, ooh, he got me this little diamond-shaped one. All you have to do is unscrew this top. And there is your product. I've used it a lot, so it was kind. Of, it is kind of worn down, but it smells like strawberries too. I guess you could say. I use it. I like it. It does moisturize my lips. Oh, so there's that. Oh, so I have this one Burt's Bees one. I have this Burt's Bees little chapstick. I got the wild cherry. To me, I'm a fan of grape water. I have a memory of it. So, with this, it smells like grape water. So, I definitely do really, really love this lip balm. I don't use it that often because, I don't know, it brings back memories. And I just don't use it that often. Even though it is moisturizing. So... I once had a Blistex, and when I did, the product started to get all loopy because it was warm in the school at the time, so when I got home, I asked my mom for a little container, so she gave me a little container, and I put all my Blistex lip balm in here, so then it would not fall apart when I'm using it. So I got that in there, so. I got the original Bustex, so. Oh no, you guys can see it. Okay, so I think. Okay, here's the thing I got. So I have three soft lips. My favorite, actually out of these ones, I don't know, because this one's coconut cream. This one's coconut cream. It's a soft, baby soft, soft lips. And then these two are high, honey melon, honeydew melon. Okay, I definitely knew, know what I like. It is definitely honeydew melon. It gives it that clean citrus scent, which I like. So here's a honeydew, this one, ooh, this one's the melon, I mean coconut cream. I like all these, I don't use them that often because I have a whole bunch more. So my next one, okay so I got, before I got that big thing of Vaseline like I showed you, I had a baby one. 
So I've always want this one's not the original. This one, oh, this one is cocoa butter, and it smells like a uh, cocoa, of course. So when I had this, I found it moisturizing, but I didn't like carrying around this. So I preferred like a bigger jar so I could have it at home. So what I did, and I know I was going to use this one up pretty soon anyway, because I'm probably like halfway done. So I asked my mom for the medium size. They surprised me and got me it, got me it. And I really enjoy Vaseline. I find it moisturizes my lips. They're baby soft. And my mom's always asking me, how do your lips get so soft? I'm like, Vaseline. So I have this. They have a giant size, which you can get. I got the medium one because I this one would last a really long time and I don't need the jumbo one for my lips. So this one's a perfect size. And then I got a little cocoa one. Bear with me a few more. Oh, this one's the same uh, lip product as the pink one I showed before. I've used this one to the bottom. And then, okay, so then I have two more after this. So this, I didn't get it in this pot, but I, my mom gave me this pot. So it's a little pot, and I got a lip gloss from Dreamers Design. I mean, not Dream Week Design, uh, Niagara Falls. And when I did, I found it too big to like travel with, like to school, to home, to hotels and everything. So I asked my mom for a little container to put it in. It smells like strawberries. This one actually smells really, really nice. I find it really moisturizing. If I put too much, like it'll get like really thick. Okay, my last two, finally but not least, I think that's how you say it. I got these two lip balms from the C&E because our family goes there every year for a family tradition. We do. So we span, spin the wheel and my brother won one, but he doesn't want it. So he gave me it and then I want a lip balm. So it smells like vanilla. It's really nice. I find it all natural. It tells you all of the ingredients, which I really like because I know what it is and I know what I'm putting on my lips. So I find it really nice. There's a little bit of glitter from the from the other ones. But that's all what I have. So I hope you guys liked my video. Please come back again, check out my YouTube channel, and bye, thank you.